any pest, any season with a solution. German cockroaches are one of the most notorious and despised indoor pests that humans face. Doesn't matter if you're rich or poor, doesn't matter if you're old or young, or anywhere in between. Roaches have made their way into the lives of nearly every person on earth. Hey, this is Matt with Four Seasons Pest Solutions. Now I want to talk to you just a little bit about roaches. Now if we're at the zoo, maybe they're fun to see in decorated, informative, and enclosed controlled environments. But if you're in a restaurant or a hotel, or even at home, they're despised trespassers. They often strike fear in the hearts of millions and they spread disease, they cause allergies, and they can actually cost us financially, and sometimes they even cost us reputationally. But honestly, they're at the top of my most hated list, right there beside bedbugs. But there's still great news. Although almost every human is faced with a cockroach at some point in their life, we don't have to live with them. Despite the myth which describes the cockroach as the only living thing after a nuclear blast, roaches are actually quite easy to control once you know how to do it. Of course, that's the problem, knowing how to control them. So for an individual to learn how to control a species like the German cockroach, they first have to learn about the insect. Must know a little bit about its biology, its life cycle, its reproduction, its habitats, and, and more. So what I want to do is just explore the German cockroach and let's just see what we can learn. It's good to have four seasons on your side. German cockroaches, or Latella germanica, have a life cycle consisting of three primary stages. First, you've got the egg, then the nymph, and finally, the adult. Now, this entire life cycle takes about roughly 100 days, but now it can take longer. Environmental conditions such as temperature, food availability, these have a large impact on the amount of time it takes for them to reach adulthood. The male German cockroach lives typically around 90 to 140 days, but the female can live twice as long, between 140 and 280 days. German cockroaches are small and they're really mobile. They are flat, elongated, and that allows them to squeeze into really tight spaces and hide from predators. They have six legs, they have two antennae, and they use these antennae to locate food and to locate their mates. Now, additionally, their brown coloration helps them to blend into the surroundings and avoid detection. So under optimal conditions, females can produce roughly about five to eight egg casings, or uthica, in her lifetime. Each uthica will contain roughly 30 to 40 eggs. Now, in a typical real-life infestation, populations should be comprised primarily of nymphal stage instars, but 20-25% should be adults. That leaves 75-80% to nymphal instar stages. As one of the most common species of cockroaches, and due to their reliance on human activity, they're going to be found in your home, they're going to be found in your office, and even your favorite restaurant, bar, or hotel. Now, it's unfortunate that the German cockroach is not terribly choosy when it comes to living arrangements and can take up residence in almost any structure where human activity is present. Now, if you couple this with their ability to quickly reproduce, you have a pest of public health concern. As with almost any insect, the anatomy of a German cockroach is quite complex. Besides the previously mentioned characteristics, German cockroaches have a few somewhat unique characteristics of which many people might not be aware. German cockroaches have highly developed sensory systems that allow them to detect changes in light, temperature, and other environmental cues. They've also been known to have a keen sense of smell, and they use this to locate food, mates, and, of course, potential dangers. German cockroaches are very highly social insects, and they often live in large groups or colonies, what we call in the pest control industry, harborages. They're primarily nocturnal, and they prefer to hide in dark and moist environments during the day. Now, at night is typically when someone's going to see roaches. They'll venture out and they search for food and mates. Now, these biological features and adaptations, along with their other traits and characteristics, are really what make the German cockroach a successful and persistent pest in human environments. Their impact on human health, that makes them a very important pest of health concern. Now, the female will lay her eggs in the protective casing, which we call the uthca. This uthca is around 5 sixteenths of an inch long and an eighth inch tall and about 5 sixty-fourths of an inch wide. Now, she's going to carry this uthca until the eggs are ready to hatch. Now, the female German roach prefers to lay her eggs in cracks and crevices and other unprotected areas. And these will usually be dark, warm, and humid or near areas that meet this criteria. Now, if the uthca are somehow manually detached from the female roach or if she's exposed to insecticides while she's carrying the egg casing, it's very likely that the eggs won't be viable and will not hatch. 
However, there's an exception to every rule. If the eggs are within a day or two of hatching, they may go on to hatch anyway. I spent two and a half decades in this business. I've seen roach uthka in a variety of places. Although females may have a preference in mind for laying her eggs in heavy infestation or where environmental conditions may not be optimal, those preferences are sometimes just completely thrown out the door. So when infestations reach these critical levels, there's no place I haven't seen uthka. And this includes, unfortunately, inside a young child's ear, inside the refrigerator, and simply just laying out in the open like on a table or a shelf. Field observations of insect behavior will often differ from what is the scientific norm. We understand that there's much study performed by many more qualified individuals than myself, and it seems that the normal observations are what's reported the most. In the field, those rules are not necessarily followed by the insect world, and unusual and odd behaviors are often noted. Now, the female may have a preference for laying her eggs, and she will lay them in all manner of places, both protected and unprotected, wet, dry, warm, not warm, dark, light. So we have to be ready to learn new behavior in order to stay on top of roach infestations and their control. Once the Uthaca are dropped, the eggs are nearly ready to hatch. Now, they emerge from the Uthaca, and the nymphs are similar to adults, but they're much smaller and lighter in color, and they don't have any wings. Now, they're going to have to molt five to six times in order to reach maturity, and these molding stages are referred to as instars. First instars will be around an eighth inch long, while fifth and sixth instars will be closer to nine sixteenths of an inch long. Not unlike the parents, nymphs are omnivorous and they feed on a variety of foods. Grease, starches, and sweets are a regular balanced diet to a roach. They've also been observed eating toothpaste and soap and even adult excrement. The act of eating feces is referred to as coprophagy and is not uncommon in the life cycle of a roach. Now, because the instars usually stay nearby a harborage area, adult excretion is an easy and beneficial meal to find, and it's packed with an abundance of necessary protein, partially digested food, and other metabolic wastes. Coprophagy can help the instars acquire nutrients, gut microbes, and other enzymes which are important to their growth and survival. And acquiring the same microbes which colonize inside the gut of their parents actually helps the nymph in better food digestion and helps them better prepare for the survival in the particular environment in which they find themselves. Now, unfortunately for the roach, there is another side of coprophagy, which is much more grim. While coprophagy can have positive effects on the nymphs, it can also increase the spread of disease and parasites in the cockroach population. So if there's any illnesses, if there's any pathogens or any other harmful organisms, coprophagy can actually be deadly. Now, additionally, roach control procedures often include the use of roach baits. And most roach baits work by allowing the roach to feed on the bait and ingest the active ingredient. This active will work slowly and allow the roach to transfer that active onto other roaches. This transfer also takes place through nymphal coprophagia. Though roaches only dabble in the coprophagous world, a little dabble might be all it takes. Roaches reach maturity through the molting process, and that brings the roach from the nymph to the adult. As an adult, their size is only going to vary by a little. A half inch to five eighths of an inch long is about average. And at this final stage, German roaches are brown with two black stripes on their thorax. And their wings are now visible, but they almost never use them for flight. The presence of either the adult or any instar stage is a matter which just shouldn't be overlooked because their ability to reproduce quickly and spread disease, carry a variety of pathogens, and trigger allergy and asthma symptoms in some people, it's enough to cause major concern. But if that's not enough, their very presence in food handling establishments can result in contamination of food and food products, and then this can spread to a great many people very quickly. So with their threat to human health and their ability to spread quickly and their nature to go undetected, the introduction of proper prevention and control measures are an absolute must. Understanding the biology of the German cockroach is crucial for developing effective strategies for preventing and controlling cockroach populations in homes, businesses, and other human-associated environments. If you or someone that you know is dealing with a German cockroach infestation, call Four Seasons Pest Solutions. Any pest any season, we are the solution. Now, if you'd like additional information on ways to prevent German roaches, or simply maybe you're interested in German roach control in commercial kitchens and what you can do to help prevent roaches in your kitchen, check out our blog page www.myfsk.com.
fsps.com. FSPS, like Four Seasons Pest Solutions. Check us out, find our blog page, and let me say this. It's okay to live among insects, but we don't have to live with them. It's good to have Four Seasons on your side.